to the daily grind thanks for checking out the channel make sure to hit subscribe if you're new and hit thumbs up if you're not a baby back bagel biting bitch boy because you know what time it is it's full time mma it's valentina shevchenko quick to beat a bitch if you ain't no ain't no way to win so come and get your face swole let's fucking go valentina shevchenko the bullet is in town and the 125 pound division is going down Woo, the current 125 pound champion Nico Montano recently said on the MMA Hour she does not feel like Valentina Shevchenko nor Paige Van Zandt deserve the first title shot at her title that she just won after winning the Ultimate Fighter Season 26 finale fight versus Roxanne Metaferi to become the inaugural 125 pound champion. She said they gotta prove theirself in the division, kinda like Demetrius Johnson Mighty Mouse who said TJ Dillashaw needs to prove himself. But, unlike Demetrius Johnson and Mighty Mouse, this is a little different. But at the same time, hey, she said she's not going to be back fighting until um, May or July. So Valentina Shevchenko has took it upon herself to say, I don't consider myself the champion yet. And I got some time to kill, so why not? She's scheduled to fight Priscilla Cochera for UFC Belim and I'll tell you guys this much this might as well be for the 125 pound title and that's no disrespect to Nico Montano I'm just saying look Valentina Shevchenko a lot of people know she, I mean she, she's one of the best 135 pounders in the world she fought Muay Thai at 125 pounds she she was a world champion in Muay Thai if I'm not mistaken she beat the fucking straw weight UFC queen Joanna Jacek three times in Muay Thai Valentina Shevchenko has fought at 125 pounds in her career before whether or not it was in the UFC so some people are taking you know heed at Nico Montano saying she has to prove herself at 125 pounds because she's fought there before unlike Demetrius Johnson and Ray you know and TJ Dillashaw TJ Dillashaw hasn't fought 125 pounds and so that's why Demetrius is like you know it's a little different but with that being said, why I'm saying this is might as well be the title fight is because the girl that Valentina Shevchenko is going to be fighting, Priscilla Cochera, I've never seen her fight. She's going to be making her UFC debut, but she's 8-0. Let's say Valentina Shevchenko was fighting Nico Montano, the current UFC's women champion tomorrow. Nico Montano's 4-0. So, I mean, you know... Priscilla's arguably got a more impressive MMA record and, and let's take away the title let's take away the title for a second let's who would you rather see fight with no title on the line Valentina Shevchenko versus a chick that's 8-0 or Valentina Shevchenko versus a chick that's 4-2 that chick that's 8-0 has never been beaten and you know let's say you know the same because a lot of people didn't know Nico Montano before she won the women's uh, ultimate fighter finale and became the champion so if Valentina Shevchenko can beat Priscilla, an undefeated fighter who's 8-0, there's no reason. I don't see her being able to beat the current UFC champion who is 4-2. And that's that just is what it is at this point. The chick won the Ultimate Fighter season finale, so now she's a champion. But a lot of people expect Valentina Shevchenko to reign over this division for a while. But she's got to take a couple people out on the way. Maybe just one person. Who knows? We know Valentina Shevchenko and Paige Van Zandt are racing for this title shot. Um, Paige Van Zandt scheduled to fight uh, Jesse Jess Clark at UFC St. Louis. So it's going to be interesting to see who gets the first title shot, what Valentina Shevchenko or Paige has to do to get to the title. Maybe they're going to have to meet for a title eliminator. As far as I know, those are the two front runners for the first UFC title shot, aside from Cjara Eubanks, the lady who missed weight and was hospitalized due to her weight cut um, at the Ultimate Fighter finale. So with that being said, this fight is going to be in UFC Belém, which is Brazil, where Priscilla is from. So it's, I mean, Valentina Shevchenko is definitely, she's, Brazil is almost her hometown as well. She was there for a while. So I, I believe she speaks Portuguese as well. But Valent, this is going to be a great fight for Brazil. But Priscilla was scheduled to make her UFC debut at the Ultimate Fighter finale versus Lauren Murphy, I believe. But she had visa issues. So now they're going to actually be fighting. There shouldn't be any visa issues. She's going to be fighting at home. Valentina Shevchenko is coming over there to fight. So it's going to be a good fight. But hey, as I said, this girl is making her UFC debut. But she's undefeated. So I'm looking forward to this fight. It's a at 125 pounds, this is going to be Valentina Shevchenko's 125 pound UFC debut. 
Can't wait to see how that goes. If she looks great in this fight, then everybody, everybody, I'm sure, is going to be clamoring for Valentina Shevchenko to get that immediate title shot after this. But we might have, we might see a Paige Van Zant Valentina title eliminator. Who knows? You know how the politics of this game goes. Sometimes it goes to the more popular fighter, unfortunately, over who you might think is the most skilled fighter. Paige Van Zant, we do know, was on Dancing with the Stars, and she's got that going for her. That that casual appeal. So. I don't be surprised if Paige Van Zant beats Jesse Jess Clark and then out of nowhere gets scheduled for a title shot and then maybe Valentina will have to go through her to get the title. Who knows? I mean, I got my eyes on Paige Van Zant and Valentina Shevchenko at 125 pounds and on the champion Nico Montano. I mean, she's she, it is what it is, man. I've said enough on this video. Still a lot to get to. With that being said, it is what it is. Valentina Shevchenko versus Priscilla Cutrera is confirmed for UFC Berlin. Let the full-time family know what the fuck you tell Matt in the comments. I'm out. Da-da-da-da-da! It's the motherfucking D-O-double-G!